Hi guys, welcome to yet another class of system modeling and simulation. Today we're going to look at the reliability problem that is the bearing problem. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so we have the reliability problem here. The reliability problem basically deals with when any one of the components fail and how reliable the system is so that it can recover from that failure and start working normally. Right. So a common example of this is a milling machine. So you have a milling machine where you have gears and bearings. So basically what it does is when the bearing fails, how much time does it take for it to be fixed back again and start working normally. Right. So a milling machine has three different bearings that fail in service. So basically when it fails in service, how fast does it recover? So let's look at the problem. So a milling machine has three different bearings that fail in service. So you have three different bearings. The distribution of the life of each bearing is identical. Since they are same bearings, the life is identical. As shown in table, so this is the bearing life and the probability associated with it. This is in hours. Okay. Uh, when a bearing fails, the mill stops, a repair person is called and a new bearing is installed. The delay time of the repair persons arriving at the milling machine is also a random variable having the distribution given. So this is the delay distribution, the delay time, right? Downtime for the mill is estimated at $10 per minute. So this is how much it costs for the mill when there's a downtime. The direct on-site cost of the repair person is $30 per hour. It takes 20 minutes to change one bearing. 30 minutes to change two bearings and 40 minutes to change three bearings. The bearing cost is 32. So each bearing costs 32. A proposal has been made to replace all three bearings whenever a bearing fails. So you replace all the three bearings when even one of the bearings fails. Right? Management needs an evaluation of the proposal. Right? So you need to simulate this. The total cost for 10,000 bearing hours will be used as the measure of performance. So you need to measure in 10,000 bearing hours. Calculate the total cost. So we have to calculate the total cost of the system. So the distribution of the bearing life is given. This is in hours. Right. So the probability associated with it. And then the delay distribution table. That is delay of 5, 10, 15 minutes. Give me for these probabilities. Right. Then the bearing lifetime random digit. So the random digits for each bearing are also given, which we will use in our table to calculate the total cost, right? And they've also given the random digits for delay. So we have two random digits. One is bearing lifetime and one is delay random, right? So let's move on with the solution. So first thing that we have to calculate is the bearing life distribution. So according to the table given here, right so this is the table that we have we have to calculate the cumulative probability right so the table given here we need to calculate the cumulative probability and the random digit assignment so we have this bearing the probability so how do you calculate the cumulative probability so 0.1 will be 0 0.1 0 0.23 is got by adding 0.13 and 0 0.1 0 0.48 is got by adding 0 0.25 and 0 0.23 and so on until you get 1, right? Then the random digit assignment is based on this class. So 0 to 10 lies here. Then the next class starts from 11 to 23, next 24 to 48, next 49 to 61 and so on. So you have the random digit assigned for bearing life distribution. Now the second table is delay time distribution. So again looking at this table that we have, the delay distribution, we again calculate the cumulative probability and the random digit assignment. So we've copied these two columns from the table previously given. So calculate the cumulative probability again similarly, 0 0.6 is 0 0.6. 0 0.9 is got by adding 0 0.6 and 0 0.3. 1 is got by adding 0 0.9 and 0 0.10. Then finally, you have the random digit assignment. So you have 1 to 6 in this class, 7 to 9 in this class. And last thing, there's nothing because after 9 is 1 and 1 would directly give me here. So these are the random digits that I've assigned. Now, the next thing that we do is so we have got these two tables. Now, based on the random digits that they have given here, 
we need to associate it with the correct data right so the third table consists of the bearing simulation now again these are the eight simulations or the eight times you have to run the simulation so they would give it in the question so over here they say run it for eight times so we have eight runs of the simulation then you have three bearings their random digits that are given in these tables right so it, this column is already given so is this and this right then the first failure indicates which fa which bearing failed first the random digit is the random digit of the delay so this column that is this column is got from this delay random digits that they have already given us then finally delay we will calculate right so these this column is filled so how do you get 1400 so 1400 is got by seeing where 67 lies right so 67 lies in so we have to see the bearing life distribution table because we have to calculate the life hours so 67 lies here that is 1400 hence we write 1400 similarly 8 where does 8 lie 8 lies in 1000 similarly we do it for all the random digits and we get bearing 1 life hours similarly for bearing 2 we see where 70 lies 70 lies here 70 lies in this column so that is 1400 hence 1400 similarly we do it for all the rows for bearing 2 and then we finish bearing 3 column for the life pass right so once these few columns are filled the next thing that we have to see is when did the first failure occur so first failure is the minimum is the minimum of this this and this so the minimum is 1400 so we say 1400 right and similarly for the second run when did the first failure occur you compare this this and this so it occurred at 1000 similarly you do it for the next few rows and get the first failure that occurred and then the total failure hours you calculate and then you get 10100 hours right now the next column deals with the random digit random digits is again given by this in the question so we just copy that down so 35714 so now how do we this is the random digits for delay right we have to get the delay that actually are in minutes so we see where 3 lies so we look at the delay time distribution table so 3 lies over here so it's 5 5 again lies in this row so 5 7 lies here 10 then we write 10 similarly you fill the rest of the columns and totally you get the total delay time that is 55 okay so with this we get the total delay time that occurred and the total failure hours that occurred right so moving on to the next thing is since they have asked us to calculate the total cost of the system so to find the total cost there's a formula so the formula is total cost is equal to cost of bearings obviously how much do the bearings cost cost of delay time cost of downtime during repair and cost of the mechanics that have to come and replace the bearings right so for that let's look at how to calculate each of these terms so first let's write down the values that we know from the question given right so we know cost of each bearing is 32 dollars cost of delay time per downtime is 10 dollars cost of repair person is 30 dollars per hour and finally it takes 20 minutes to change one bearing 30 minutes to change two bearings and 40 minutes to change three bearings this data is got from the question that we have right so 10 30 and all these things so i'm just writing it down so that i don't have to keep moving up and down again right so let's solve the first thing so cost of bearing now we know there are three bearings and we are running it for eight times so cost of bearing would be it will be 8, right? So 8 into 3, because there are 3 bearings, into 
how much does each bearing cost? Thirty-two dollars. So that will be dollar. So that that will give me twenty-four into thirty-two. That is seven sixty-eight dollars. So cost of bearing would be seven sixty-eight dollars. Now cost of delay time. So what was the total delay time we had? It was fifty-five minutes. This is got from the previous table. So fifty-five minutes. Into how much is delay time? Cost of delay time is ten dollars per minute. So let me write ten dollars. So fifty-five into ten is five fifty dollars. So cost of delay time is five fifty dollars. Now the third thing that they've asked us to calculate is cost of downtime during repair. So again, for each bearing, how much was the downtime and how much time did it take? For to replace it, right? So how many bearings were there? So there were eight into three, eight times we run the simulation and three bearings in each simulation. Into it took twenty minutes to change one bearing. So I'm just going to write twenty minutes per bearing into the delay time. That is ten dollars per minute. So into ten, so we have twenty four into twenty into ten. So this gives me four thousand eight hundred, right? Thousand eight hundred dollars. So the next thing that we have to calculate is cost of mechanics or repair person. These repair persons have to come. And change the bearings. So the cost associated with that. So again, similarly, we have eight into three bearings into twenty minutes per bearing, right? And into now for the cost of the repair person is as we have found out, cost of repair person is thirty dollars per hour, right? So that would be thirty dollars per hour. So this would give me twenty four into twenty into thirty whole thing divided by sixty. Why sixty? Because it's per hour, and we're calculating everything in minutes. So when I calculate this, I get two forty dollars, right? So cost of mechanics or repair person is two forty dollars. Then finally, to find out the total cost, we add all these terms. So that would be cost of bearing seven sixty eight plus cost of delay time is five fifty. Then cost of downtime during repair is four thousand eight hundred, and cost of mechanics is two forty. When you add this up, the total cost gives me six three five eight dollars. Okay, so this is the total cost of the milling or the simulation that we have. Now we have to also find the total life of all bearings, right? So if you know, so in 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 the table that we did, the total life hours that we had was ten thousand one hundred. So what we do is total life of all bearings would be ten thousand one hundred into three three for three bearings. So this gives me thirty thousand three hundred hours, right? So then the next thing that we have to do is the total cost per ten thousand bearing hours, right? So for ten thousand bearing hours, what we do is so the total cost is we calculated was six three five eight. So six three five eight divided by ten thousand bearing hours. So this divided by ten thousand, right? So this gives me three point zero three because this is in terms of only hours. When I want it for ten thousand hours, I get three point zero three. So when I divide this, I get the answer as two zero nine eight point three four dollars, right? So this is the total cost for 
10,000 bearing hours. We had to calculate for 10,000 bearing hours because in the problem they suggested the total cost for 10,000 bearing us. If they don't mention 10,000, then you can just stop it at this answer. Right? So, with this, we calculate the total cost of the bearings and the reliability of the milling system.